So here is a bit of a walkthrough on the drift car for you fellas. Show you what we're up to. Basically, Toyota 86 with two JZ. R154 gearbox, the engine pushed into the into the car, bit of weight distribution, running a modified steering rack with for extra lock and some lengthened front arms, lengthened 30 mil. We will be tubing the front end because of this slight mishap with a tree. Bit of a, yeah, bit of and a um, couple of dints around here. We've got to fix up these, this nasty damage. Tried to pop back out. The uh, rear mounted radiator set up. So we've got the vents in the boot. See them? The uh, fuel tank will be going in the rear. So, this hole here. We're going up nice up back there. Radiator will be sort of from here up. I'll show you from the front. So, I'm going from here up to here. See that shit? It looks really high in the video. Jesus. <sighs> so, bit of where we're up to. Still running the steer stock steering, <sighs> electronic steering. Got the stock wheel on there for now. We've got to change that out later. It's ugly. Got the custom dual caliper mounts front ones so pretty tight tight in there that just from a, a series 30 Sora that I got the engine from We've got the K-frame razors Try and sort out the crazy CV angles. So, got the solid machined aluminium bush and modified the top so it can sit even higher without taking away the structural integrity of it. That's that. This, this is still rough. Got to do it. Got to fix it for the fuel tank. Got them for now, just the BC coilovers. I have to sort them out though. Get something a bit shorter because the uh, when you raise the K frame, it makes the mounting points higher, which then makes the car higher off the ground, which is not what we want. So, have to shorten that a fair bit. Uh, let me get under here. Oh, the other side. Same sheet. That side. Oh, you're all upside down. So, we have no diff currently. Looking for a diff. Can't find one. For a decent price at the moment. Just, yeah, big hole down towards the gearbox. So we're pretty far off finishing. Still got to do the cage, which should be coming up soon. The tubing of the front end. Moulding a Sora bonnet on the front. 
something a bit different because we're not running a front bar and the stock bonnet's too short. So we're running a, a Sora bonnet down with a skeleton front grill and bumper. Bit of a drift armor as well. <laughs> so yeah, still looking for a left door. Don't have a left door currently. Engine is still stock. We haven't haven't done anything with that. Yes, it's the naturally aspirated one. We'll be get rid getting rid of the distributor. It's doing a similar setup as the GTE. And tight ass fit in there. Jesus. So the reason behind having the 2J so far back is one, for all the weight. I don't want too much weight hanging past the towers. And two, I didn't want it that far back, but where the sump is, it sort of literally had to be that far back. Otherwise it sat forward or it sat back or I could dry sump it, but yeah, that's a bit expensive. Alternator is being re been relocated onto the left side of the engine from down here to get some components away from the turbo, get all the heat away and make room for piping and stuff. So Inside. Fuck that glare, it's bad outside. Uh. Oh, this is inside. New stick, steering wheel. Pedals! Well, oops, where are they? Oh, yeah, there. Accelerator has been moved. It is not there because we're not running fly by wire, we are going back to cable. Just for, just because I want to. Reliability issues. <laughs> Back of the engine. Big hole in the floor. Someone's bright idea to cut the funnel out. Kind of been needed to. Yeah, that is the car. Might have to do some upcoming videos on the Pulsar because that's neglected. Isn't it? Fucking Ashley. <laughs>